Today, we're going to look at how to change your, your keyboard layout in Linux. Now, there are a number of different ways of doing it, and I'll show you the variety of different ways, but I'll tell you why you should and shouldn't use each one of them. So, the first one I'm going to show you is using local CTL, or local CTL. So, you could get a sense of what is going on by doing local. LCTL list key maps. And I'll tell you all the different key maps you're able to choose from. And you can see there's quite a lot. I'm just going to quit out of that. You can type in the wrap and be, which I can be like, I want. Colmac. You can find it. Colmac th not in there, but but if you want to set the key map, you do local ctl. I'll set key map up no convert. It sets it for the immediate session, and then you put in your key map. I won't do that because I don't need the set right now. However, I'll now tell you the downsides of using this method. The downsides of using this method is that it'll set it for the whole machine, which if you're someone who works on a server, you don't want that because then if someone else uses the machine, they'll ha they don't know how to use it unless they all use whatever layout you're using, which I doubt. So it's really good if you're on a personal machine. But even then, the next method I'll show you is much better at that. So the next program we're going to look at is called Send XKB Map. Which is set X keyboard map. To use this, you can do, you can to see what you can do. You do a cal ctl list x11 key map. And then you yeah, have models, layouts. Variants and options. I'll explain each of those. Is models is the type of keyboard that you're using. Key map layouts is the different layouts for here. Is it's all the country codes for the various keyboard types. And then variance is variations or, or between the keyboard. In other words, your Colmac, your uh, Colmac, your Dovrak, Workman, whatnot. So I can go down, see all those. And then options is the ability to switch between layouts and it only sets it uh, locally so so you do instead of layout you do layout and then let's do us which will be the default us and then if we do us variant You then do Dover, Doverac, and we have the ability to go between those two layouts, but they don't know what we're doing, so you option ERP and then do win space right, toggle. Now, how this works is You'll be able to get to standard QWERTY here. 
And then this will allow you to go to Dovrak by doing window, the Windows or Super Space Key. And you would put that in your X init or dot profile file. However, there's a really cool uh, flag you could give set X key map, which is the reason why I recommend using it. Let's look at the man page for set X key keyboard map. Is you see, you want you to choose which the screen you want. So in other words, depending on which screen you're on, will change that. However, you could set the device ID to it. So in other words. Say you have, you only want one keyboard to have a different layout or whatever, you can do that, or and you can have multiple keyboards plugged in at the exact same time. Which a good example would be, say you use a uh, QMK keyboard where you can set the keys to whatever you want, and say you, and you have another keyboard where you can't do that, since you don't want to set the system keyboard because. If you do that, it'll break your QMK keyboard, and then you'll have to change it so it will work with that layout, but that's too much of a hassle. So this allows you to have two keyboards. So I'll show you to do that, is first we need to do their LS USB to list all the USB devices, unless you use a PS2 device for your keyboard. And you want to look at these numbers in this column here. You just need that line. However, there's another way to do that. Which I'd say is the easiest way is to do a x input list, which now lists all of it, and you can see the ID. If you list crap key, I'll list all the keyboards, and you can pull you can pull the value there. So I'm going to grab a spare keyboard and plug it into the machine. So if I do a like this, see that we have a Moonlander Lander plugged in, as well as, where is it? As well as this Unicomp keyboard. So it's something in your X profile, X init, RC, or you put it in the D menu, not D menu, uh, DWM auto start. We can have it so both keyboards are set. However, I'm going to quickly look at the aux syntax so we could write a better script. Okay, I'm back and double checked on the syntax. So here and do and take a look at let's do the X in it. C interesting now what you want to do to set it is do a set XKB map device and then for device ID we need to do this X in input not list grep or new comp and then do awk do print number seven and then we're gonna pipe in the sed so then I'm going to remove this from it and then do here in this case we're gonna do Colmac DH so variant Colmac DH And so that will make they'll set the Unicom keyboard to Comic DH. Then 
since we don't want the other keyboard. And then since we don't want the other keyboard to have a layout change as well, just in case, we'll do a set map. Device. And then do another one of those. However, we're just going to copy and paste this. Yes. So whenever. So whenever X is started, this should execute. But if you're on a server or whatever, it would want to instead put that in your profile. Like, I don't know, here. I'll accept that in copy for some reason. That's weird. So, so that's how you change your keyboard in Linux. And it's very straightforward and simple. Hope you learned something nice. Good. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Linux out.